let's talk about Unity. Um, Unity is pretty awesome. Uh, let me start out by saying it's completely free. They have an awesome business model where if you aren't making money on anything you create in Unity, it's completely free. Um, so that's great for educational purposes. Um, and I just wanted to, to demo some of the things that they've included. So if you go back even six, eight months ago, um, Unity didn't have all the things built in that will enable us to use VR. Um, last school year I did some work with a few students who were trying to develop apps in Unity and uh, it was pretty cool. Um, just a lot of setup work to get into the, the development environment. Um, and a lot of that's been completely smoothed over with the newer versions of Unity. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, what I've got here is just a, a brand new project in Unity. Um, I downloaded it, installed it, opened a new project, and then it starts you out in scene view, but I'm going to jump over to the asset store. And here I'm going to search for VR samples. And then I'll click on this. This is put out by Unity. Whoops. This one. And VR samples or VR essentials. And then you'll either have a download or I think I've already download, downloaded these. So I'll hit import and it'll pull it into my project. It might take a second so I'll cheat and speed it up for you. Alright, so here we're presented now with some folders. I'll go back to my scene view and I'm going to look, I'm going to pull up in the folder called VR Sample Scenes. The scenes are what we're looking for to see the completed project. So I have um, an intro scene, a main menu. I'm just going to click on the main menu and load it up. And you can see what's going on here for the most part. This is what we're going to see in virtual reality when we put the headset on. Um, and here's the coolest part. If you're using, if you're developing for the Oculus, Oculus Rift, um, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, you, there's a preview mode in Unity that goes directly into the Rift. Um, so if I click up here on the play button, you'll notice that the head tracking immediately starts on my Rift. I'll pop this on so you guys can check it out. Then if you just, uh, so we got a flyer, a maze game, and then two different shooting galleries. Test this one out for you really quick. This is pretty cool. It's set up to control with my head and you'll notice that it's really basic there's not any texture set up on those asteroids um, a little bit of color on the ship some particle effects for my engines uh, but even with just that it's actually a really cool experience I wish you guys could actually see it in VR you'll just have to try it out yourself the back button we can get back into the menu maybe I'll try this one really quick Got this little phaser, and I'm shooting little targets. Anyway, kind of a fun game. Um, if I were using this in my classroom, let me pause this for us. I would kind of start with getting my students familiar with the the developer environment and some of the workflow of Unity. The super great thing is that the, the template's already built out for us. All we, all we have to do is start poking around and we can see how everything works. Um, and then maybe as a first assignment, I might have my students just modify uh, something to personalize this game a little bit. Um, I was looking at that shooter game. Let's see if I can look at 
instead of the scenes, I'm going to jump into the materials. And here's my material setup. Like I said, it was pretty basic. There's not a lot of textures or anything added. But I noticed that there's this one for the target called Shooter Target. And what I'm going to do really fast for you is pull up the location of that file. Okay, so um, I felt like maybe the shooting gallery was a little bit too realistic for school. Instead of shooting those targets, I'm going to make it turn it into a monster. Um, I don't know if it's any better, but we'll try it out. And um, all I basically did is Photoshop that texture uh, from a target and put the custom custom texture that I wanted to on it. Okay, so now that I have that replaced, I'm gonna just show you really quick how I'd actually compile this. So if I hit build and run, and here I have the option to compile the whole thing, or I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one little game that was included. And then other than that, everything's ready to go. If I wanted to uh, develop something for Gear VR, I'd change a few of those settings, uh, export for Android, and then um, I think there's one or two other settings I'd tweak uh, to make it run on a mobile device. Uh, but other than that, we're ready to go. I'm going to hit build. And here's my app all ready to go. So we'll pull that up and then test it out. Hopefully it has my new textures on there.